Hello, Deacon and Body. Hi, uh, Chanel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks for joining. How are you guys doing today? <clears throat> Hi, Facebook Live. Thanks for inviting your followers, Chanel. Thank you guys for joining. We're going to talk really quick. How are you today? I was just about to go live. Oh, thanks. Because I want to catch you. I've been doing other stuff. Haven't been able to catch you. I want to catch you. So we'll get started here in just a second. I see I have a viewer in Facebook Live. Hi, Karen. How are you? Thank you guys so much for joining. We're going to go ahead and get started. And hopefully more people will join. Hi, Pearl Glasgow. Glasgow. I'm sorry. Thanks for joining. You guys on Facebook, take this time to share with your friends and followers and tap the screen for hearts. Hi, Facebook Live people. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I'll go ahead and get started. Thanks for sharing on Twitter, Karen. I am Precious Brown, your power coach and the divorceologist. I am the CEO. Hey there, BD. I am the CEO and founder of Power in You, where I help divorced women shift their mindset from pain to power so they're able to live healthy lives emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Tonight, I just want to share with you guys, I've been excited all day. I launched my community today, um, and I had to change the name already. Isn't that something? But that's okay, because it is my group on Facebook. It's called... Um, Healing Power Network. So I'm so excited. I hope to see all you guys there. But anyway, what we're here for tonight, three things that you must be grateful for. I know, right, Karen? It's been a long time coming. I'm so excited about it. Yes, Chanel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the hearts. I love the colors. Um, tonight, we're going to talk about, I told everybody this morning, in case you weren't on, I told everyone that I'm starting on Sunday, I'm going to do 10 days of gratitude because so many times in life, we don't take the time to stop. Hey, first lady, we don't take the time to stop. Hi, Kay Sherlick. Thanks for joining. Um, we don't take the time to recognize the small things that we need to be thankful for and we take them for granted and that. Sometimes it allows us to complain or just not just plain not be grateful for certain things. So tonight I just wanted to give you three things that you should think about being grateful for that we take um, for granted here in the lovely United States of America. Um, but many people, I was listening to the um, to a sermon this morning, and on there he. Uh, T.D. Jake stated, you know, that people in Somalia are dying for a cup of water and a bowl of oatmeal. And that really touched me because it is more times than not here, we get upset about the rain, about a red light, about somebody jumping in front of us in, in a line or in um, traffic or we're worried about not having an extra $20 for lunch or missing a dinner or something like that. And to just think about people dying because they don't have the necessity of food, the necessary amount of food for a day. And we throw food away like it's nothing. We'll let something sit in the refrigerator and spoil Um and throw it away and we just disregard it like it's nothing when someone else can use it. So I was thinking of some things that I'm grateful for and I wanted to share and just give you a little 
something to think about this evening um, as far as being grateful for things. And the first one that we all, the majority of us, take advantage of, and that is time. We act as if time is going to be here forever, infinity. We have infinity amount of time and we can do what we want, when we want, how we want. When in reality, everybody's time is limited. And we just don't recognize that because we've been free in America, quote unquote, free in America for so long. Hi, Janice. Thanks for joining. Um, we've been free in America for so long that it just seems like um, we're old time. And that's not the truth. So take some time to this evening and think about being thankful for your time. The time that you spend, hey, Nene, the time that you spend um, at work, the time that you spend watching TV, the time that you spend um, growing your business, the time that you spend with your children, all of those pieces are valuable and should not be disregarded or regarded lightly because you never know when your time is up. Hi, Myasia. Thanks for joining. Hi, Set Apart 365. Thanks for joining. You guys on Periscope, be sure to share with your friends and followers and tap that screen for hearts. Um, yes, amen. Amen. Because we, um, it's, it's second nature to us to think that we can do as we please with our time. And we just never know. I came from a conference on last weekend and several, I think four, four or five of the ladies um, that I just saw have had deaths in the past week. And I believe a couple of them happened while we were at the conference. So that just, I mean, you just never know. Your time is valuable. It's precious. And it, you should be grateful that you have it. Hi, LaShonda. Thanks for joining. Um, the second thing that you should be grateful for that we don't, uh, that we take lightly and don't really take to heart. And that is opportunities. We have so many opportunities afforded to us here in the United States of America. And we don't take it seriously. We don't think about, um, a lot of people don't have a choice but to live under a bridge. They don't have opportunities. I'm talking about in other countries. They sleep where they can. Where they can. But we'll snub our nose at a um, restaurant job that pays $8 because it's below our standards. How snooty of us to just think that um, any opportunity that we have is supposed to be given to us. No opportunity is yours on a guarantee or mine on a guarantee. We have to work for it. We have to begin to appreciate every opportunity that comes along for us to pour into someone else for us to give for us a hi candy thanks for joining for us to um spend time with others for us to learn something new any opportunity that arises we should be grateful for it because guess what you never know if that's your last opportunity to do something for someone else or to say something to a person you just don't know because nothing is promised in this world. We all came with an end date when we came into this world. And the opportunities that come to us in our lifetime is what we do in our dash. You know, mine would be 1972 dash and then whatever year I expire. So... In that dash, we have to make the most of it because no one owes us anything. And the, as soon as we get it out of our heads, hi, April, thanks for joining. As soon as we get it out of our heads that we're owed something, the sooner and the better off we'll be. 
the sooner we'll be able to um, understand fully what an opportunity is. An opportunity is a chance for you to do something great. So what opportunities have come across your path and you've snubbed your nose at it? Hey, how are you? What opportunity has come across your path and you felt that you were too good for it? Because guess what? It may have been a test for you for to, to see how you would respond to that specific opportunity. So be careful when opportunity cross your path and be grateful for it. Whether you accept the opportunity or not is not the issue. Just be grateful that it was offered to you because nobody has to do anything for you. Or for me, that matter, I'm not talking at you. I'm included in this. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for joining. So be careful with that. When opportunities arise, assess them. And if it fits you, it fits you. If it doesn't, graciously turn it down. But don't um, snub your nose at it like it's beneath you because guess what? We're all very close to the same boat, if not rowing next to each other. So that was number two. And the, hi, how are you? I sure do miss that cheesecake. I'm sorry, y'all. Sidebar. I miss that cheesecake because I'm not able to eat it right now, but I'll be back. Okay, so number three, the third thing that we that I was thinking that we take advantage of um, in our society, in our world, in each of our lives, and that is our connections. And when I mean connections, I mean connections in business, connections being your family, connections, being um, co-workers or um, consultants or um, what am I trying to say? They're um, colleagues, um, people that you go um, in on ventures with or go into business with. All of those things we take advantage of. We don't we aren't truly grateful for some of the connections that we have. And the connections, you never know where they will lead you, what opportunity a connection can bring. So those are three things that I thought about today that I know in my life, I'm not always appreciative of time. I'm not always appreciative of certain opportunities. I'm not always appreciative of um, connections. So I just wanted to share that with you guys this evening. Leading up, this is pre-gratitude for 10 days. Yes, it's going to get funky about gratitude. Hi, Kelly. Thanks for joining. You guys on Periscope, keep those hearts coming. Tap, tap, tap that screen for hearts. Yes, it is very true, Nicole. You can dig it, BD. <laughs> so we have to be grateful in all things but especially take time to notice the small things, the small things that people do for you, the small things that they say to you that um, could potentially have a grand effect on you later, but we don't realize it now. So just be mindful of the little things that we take for granted and just show gratitude, be appreciative, say thank you. Um, because again, no one has to do anything for any of us. And we need to recognize that. So I just stopped by this evening to let you all know that gratitude, 10 days of gratitude is coming and it's going to be on fire. Um, I don't know if I'll do Facebook Live on my general page. You may have to hop into the group, Healing Power Network, in order to see me on Facebook Live. Of course, I'll be on Periscope. And I'm just going to keep this thing rolling because it's very necessary. We need to realize how fortunate we are that we don't have to... I live in a house alone 
and I don't have to share my space with anybody. But somewhere in another country, there's 11 people in a hut. And I complain because my sub pump won't stop running. I mean, just little things like that. I mean, it's just... I've just been thinking about that all day with it being thankful Thursday. And it is very important that we begin to recognize the small things in our lives. So I just wanted to stop by today and give you guys that little tidbit about gratitude and three things that I think are very important that we need to start being grateful for. And that's our time. That's opportunities, and that's our connections, okay? So with that being said, it's time for me to go. Thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me on Facebook Live. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for sticking it out on Periscope. I appreciate you. Be sure to share this message with whoever you think may need it. Those of you that are watching the replay on Facebook Live and or Periscope, I appreciate you as well. This is Precious Brown, your power coach and the divorceologist. I am the CEO and founder of Power in You, where I help divorced women shift their mindset from pain to power so they're able to live healthy lives emotionally, physically, and spiritually. I am on every morning around 7.45. Yes, I moved it back because I don't like being late and I never can seem to hop on at 7.30. So, I am on at 7.45 and then again at 9.45. So morning is just um, motivation and then the evening is more so more or less content. Um, this next 10 days starting on Monday, absolutely time, opportunity, connections. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, these next starting Monday, starting Sunday, Next 10 days will be on gratitude, so get ready with your pens and papers, and I'll meet you here every day. Talk to you all soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.